with Boywood Family Chiropractic. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've been out the past couple of weeks because I've been terribly, terribly busy. But I'm back and I'm very excited to be talking to you again today. Today I want to talk to you about a topic of shoulder pain. Many people suffer from shoulder pain and is one of the leading causes of neck pain and headaches by extension. And so I want to talk to you today about the anatomy of the shoulder, how it can be damaged, and how to fix it. So first let's talk about the anatomy of the shoulder. So you have a cup that's called the glenoid fossa and into that fits the head of the humerus which is this bone right here. So the head of the humerus and the glenoid fossa come together to form what is called technically the glenoid humeral joint. And so that is supported only by a lip of cartilage called the labrum. So that labrum is then supported by many muscles. These muscles include the pectoralis major, the pectoralis minor, known as the pecs, in the back, the infraspinatus and the supraspinatus. Up under here you have the teres major and minor, and those last four muscles form the rotator cuff, and that is pronounced cuff, like the cuff of a sleeve. Okay, it's not a cup that you would drink out of. It is a cuff. I hear that mispronounced often, and so I just wanted to let you know. Now, these tissues are also, there are also bursa in here, like uh, the, this bursa in here, which often gets inflamed. And that is the, the preacromial bursa. And so uh, that is bursitis, and that can cause shoulder pain as well. But the pain of shoulder injuries is caused primarily by inflammation. Whether it's inflammation of the muscle, maybe some torn tissue deep inside, that causes inflammation and that causes pain. And that pain can be addressed with, of course, medication. A medical doctor may inject steroids into the shoulder to knock down the inflammation. Of course, steroids have side effects that we want to avoid. Also, you can take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Now, these are uh, over-the-counter medications such that are NSAIDs that are available are aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen. So ibuprofen comes in the name brands of Motrin and Advil. Naproxen comes as a leaf. All of those medications are not only hard on the stomach, but they also are hard on the kidneys. Tylenol is not anti-inflammatory. In fact, what Tylenol is, is a psychotropic medication that just simply makes you not care that you hurt. And it is the leading cause of liver toxicity in the United States. So, uh, if you just don't want to care that you hurt, then that's what you want to take. And if you don't care about your liver, of course, then you're okay taking Tylenol. But to address the problem, we need to look to see what the problem is. Is it torn ligaments? Is it damaged uh, tendons? Do these things need to be addressed surgically? because there can be a rotator cuff tear where the tendons are completely severed and they have to be repaired surgically. The labrum can be so badly damaged that it has to be repaired surgically. However, that's not most of the cases. Most of the cases can be treated more conservatively. The problems with the muscles, un or there's an underlying cause to those problems of the muscles, and that's quite often joint problems. And so if that humeral head slips down or up slightly out of the glenoid fossa, then that joint's not going to function properly and that's going to inflame the muscles. And so we need to get that joint function restored so that the muscles can settle down. And then of course also we want to address those muscle problems directly to get you out of pain as quickly as possible. And that's where chiropractic comes into play with shoulder problems. Restoring the joint function and addressing the the inflamed muscle tissue. So if you know anybody, or if you have shoulder problems, please give us a call. We would love to be able to help you because we want to reach out to the community and make you healthier. Next week we're going to be talking about how it is that we could contribute to the collapse of modern medicine. Until then, have a healthy, active, and fulfilling life.